Morning guys, the start of our second day of our three day road trip to, from Vegas to the Grand Canyon. Yesterday we stopped in Williams, Arizona to check out Sycamore Falls. Uh, it was really beautiful falls. And this morning we're gonna get up and drive into Grand Canyon National Park and just sort of wander around, do some of the short little trails and check it out. So come along with us and check out Grand Canyon National Park. So this is the city of Tucson where we stayed last night. It's the closest town to Grand Canyon. There is a couple of hotels inside Grand Canyon, but they're really hard to get reservations on. Hotels here tend to be between about 150, upwards of a 300 in the summertime, but we're here in the fall. And the standing rate for the Holiday Inn we were at last night was $200. Chris, you want to tell everybody why you should uh, get up early and go into the park? Yes, you uh, should. You should get up very early so you'll be the first one going in the park and don't stay on this line. You don't supposed to brush your hair, take a shower, brush your teeth, you, put you the makeup. Tell people nothing. what time it is? 10.36. <laughs> Just a little bit of traffic. Oh. I think a uh, half a mile of this. You proud of yourself? I'm very proud of me and I'm ready to go in the park. I'm so excited. If you don't want to stay in traffic to get into the park, your other option is if you're staying in Williams, Arizona, there's a train that's an $86 round trip, takes you into the park. You have three, three and a half hours to explore the park and then it takes you back to Williams, Arizona. At this point, I'm almost wishing we stayed in Williams, Arizona because I hate traffic. All right, so this is how much it is to get into Grand Canyon. Private vehicle, $35 for one to seven days. Motorcycle, 30. Bike or pedestrian, 20. I recommend basically everybody buy the annual pass, which is $80, and get uh, you and the passengers of your vehicle into all the national parks for an entire year. Uh, there's also just a Grand Canyon pass, which is 80. Uh, senior passes, which are, is for a lifetime for $80 and then military passes are free. So we're in Grand Canyon National Park now. We decided to start at the main visitor center. It is really busy for- We, par we park in the third parking lot. <laughs> the auxiliary parking lot. <laughs> it looks like there's a, the bus system that takes you to the different uh, areas and the park's still running, so we're going to start by checking out the visitor center and then maybe taking the bus somewhere. Let's go, we'll take the bus. So this is the Grand Canyon Visitor Center. It's all sorts of maps out front explaining a bunch of the different hikes and areas to check out, how long they all take, some of the most common hikes. And of course inside you can get your stamp on your National Park Pass book, not that we ever remember to bring ours. and an entire map of the south rim here. In blue here, these are the different bus routes, the blue one and the orange and the purplish here. This one has stopped running for the season right now, but the other ones that run along the rim do. You go all the way from Yaki, Yaki, Yaki Point. Over there, you can run bicycles. On the other side, Oh, there's a, a red line too that goes and keeps going even off the map. What'd you say? There's a bicycle rental? Yes. You want a bike? Buy over there by the visitor center. They have oh, there you go. Bicycle rent. rental. I wonder if they have electric bikes. Right, the first quick little walk we're going to take from the visitor center he said that. Yeah. to Martha's Point. And then after that, we decided to move the car so we can take the red line bus to, what was it called? There it is, the first view we get of the Grand Canyon. What do you think, babe? It's wonderful, look at this. To me, Beautiful. it is always. Wow. All the different colors and layers, you can see them so clear that because it just rained yesterday. Yes, because like of a that clean Grand Canyon. 
even see the trails over there zigzagging down the canyon. We will not be doing the trails down into the canyon. We're not taking that. We're most here for taking pictures and video. This is amazing. So we got to Mother's Point and it's absolutely incredible here. Look at this view here. Wow. All I can say is wow. And every time I come here is the same view. Even in the winter, the last time I was here in the winter was snowing so much and it was still beautiful. And I guess people are doing the TikToks. Is, is the amphitheater here. And we're gonna go for a walk around the rim. Do you like it here? Yeah, the amphitheater is nice. Let's go check out the Martha Point now, over here. Martha Point is over there? Okay, Martha Point is over there, but here this is, is the Martha um, Amphitheater, and it was cool. So we can do a hike, a walk a, a, along the rim now. So after 15 minutes waiting to get in the park, we got in the park, and look at this view, look at this prettiness behind me here. I can stay here and enjoy this view for hours and hours. Have a fan. And I have a little fan over here waiting for me to give him something. Don't feed but I, animals though. Oh, but I'm not feeding him. I'm just recording him. He he looks so cute and I don't have any nuts. Maybe if I would have the nuts I would give it to him. Hi. So we are at South Rim over here and all the way on the other side like 13 miles away from here is a no rib but you only can go over there um, with a car so it's not a bridge to go from south rim to no rim so you have to take the car and drive around for five hours so we're not doing that So the mother, the mother's room is, is over there. Where is the people? Mother's point. Mother's point. Yes, it's right over there. Yeah. So here you can walk for a couple of miles, just it's around. The rim trail. You can walk yeah, the entire a, length of the rim trail. Yes, it's called the rim trail, and it's pretty. And today is a beautiful day. So I had to take the jacket off. Bring layers here because it can be cold and can rain in the next second. So I suggested to bring water and layers. Look how beautiful is there. Look at that. Wow. We never did a trail down. It's nine miles and it's a camp. You can camp down there in the bottom. And it is like packing overnight camp. So you have to be prepared and get everything with you when you go down. So Stefan Ting Meta, January 22, 1930. He, la he laid the foundation of the National Park Service, defining and establishing the policies under which its area should be developed and conserved.
So starting at the South Collab Trailhead west to the Herman Rest is 14 miles. That is uh, the red bus line. I think that's the one you wanted to take later out to Herman's Rest where the little bell is and the little uh, cabin out there. Right now we're over by uh, Marta's Point, which is the yellow line, which goes out to the other side to Yaki Point. Uh, right now they have the, or right now where it just ended is the large migration of some of the condors and they're having some trail talks there. And then the blue line goes between the different villages here in Grand Canyon. And during the season, the purple line goes into town uh, where we're staying, but it's not running currently. So we're gonna walk around along the rim trail for a little bit and then either grab the yellow line or drive over to the red line. We're not sure yet. And if you're wondering why every year people fall off the rim of the Grand Canyon and fall in, people like this right here, just sort of walking down onto the rim, assuming they're gonna be safe, and they're not. Good luck to all of you guys. It's absolutely a great walk along the rim trail, even if you only have time to take it for a half mile or a mile or two. Every view is breathtaking. Bird here, not sure what type, but he just flew away. Taking another one of these little walkways down to the lookout. It's a little freaky if you're afraid of heights. Right, we've been walking along the trail here for about a mile. And I believe this is the Ge Geology Museum here. Let's go check it out. Here is the Geology Museum. Let's go in. Let's see what is in the Geology Museum here. What I like is the view outside still. But you can read about how power the river is. They actually show where the Colorado goes. Tons and tons of information about all the geological formations here at the Grand Canyon. All the different levels of the Grand Canyon. Neolithic zone, tropical sea. Rivers moves mountains, and it also corresponds to all these different periods in its history. It's really interesting to learn all about it. So this is a 3D map of the Grand Canyon. And as you can see, of the entire Grand Canyon, most of the South Rim National Park is just in this short little area right here. The North Rim is directly across here, but the Grand Canyon continues many more, many more times over. 
This is the other part of the south room. I believe you gotta drive over to this half. We're not gonna be going there. All right, so we started here at the Grand Canyon Visitor Center. Went to Mather Point, took the little 0.7 mile walk out to the Geogra Geological Museum. And we're gonna take the yellow line back to the Grand Canyon Visitor Center where we're gonna enjoy the picnic lunch that we brought. The yellow line runs about every 15 minutes. I think then we're gonna take our car and head out here and take so we can take the red bus up out to uh, Herman's Road. So this is the train that you can take from Williams up into the Grand Canyon. Looks like, I think it just got here about an hour ago. It stays for three hours and then you can take it back down to Williams. But it's a really fun time. Next time we come, maybe we'll stay in Williams so we can take the train. <laughs> to come here or we can park. <laughs> Or we can stay right in the park. And then in the winter, the train turns into the Polar Express, and it's like a uh, Christmas Santa Claus train. I, we're gonna do that in the winter. That will be fun. So there's lots of lodging here. There's hotels. There's cabins. But once again, anytime you want to book lodging inside of a national park, you usually have to book quite early. Like a year in advance. A lot of times a year in advance, yeah. So this here is the road that takes you out to the Hermit's Rest. Unfortunately, sometimes if you're only the bus service can access it, as in now because the gates are closed. So we have to wait for the bus with everybody else. Some parking needs to go right up there towards the Aspen uh, Lodges. So we just park there. And we're gonna wait for the bus. When you're taking the red line bus, if you want to see all the stops, you have to get off as you go up towards Hermit's Roost because the bus only stops at two, three different stops on the way from Hermit's Roost back to the village. Or you can walk. There's in general about one mile in between all the different stops. Ready to go back on the bus, babe? Yeah. Grand Canyon is sort of an interesting national park. It's one that's as either as easy as hard as you want it to be. You can either come like us and just take in the beautiful views or be more adventurous and take some of the trails all the way down to the bottom. Well, we're on the bus and we just missed a couple of them. We're right out the window. That's why you should always keep your eye open for the world. All right, we're here at the next stop over, Pima Point. This is the second to the last stop on the red line. And just like all the other viewpoints, this one is also absolutely breathtaking. I think from this one, you can see, get a really good view of the Colorado River below. Let's see it come into sight. Oh, there it is. See the river running right through here. What do you think of Pima Point? It's so cute. I can see the Colorado. Mm -hmm. The Colorado River coming down. So this is Hermit's Rest. It's at the end of the red line. There's a gift shop here. There's a snack bar here, restrooms, places to fill up your water bottles. And of course, absolutely breathtaking views. And of course, breathtaking views of the Grand Canyon. Check out this fireplace inside here. It's beautiful, huh? It's inside the Hermit's Rest and the gift shop here. Really cool building. So as we're waiting to take the bus, leaving Hermit's Rest, there's three stops on the way back to the village, which is Pima Point, Mojave Point, and Hopi Point. We're gonna get off at Hopi Point and then walk on the rim trail, the three, three and a half miles back to the village. And that should finish off our day. So stay with us for the last bit of our day. So right here, we're at Mojave Point. According to one of the bus drivers, if you get a chance, this is one of the best areas for sunset. As you can see, it's about two hours before. 
but it's supposed to be one of the areas where the sun sets over the canyon. Here and Hopi Point, Mojave Point and Hopi Point, if you're looking for the best sunsets at the Grand Canyon. All right, we got off the bus at Powell Point. We're gonna walk the rest of the way back to the village from here. It's about three and a half miles, we think. We hope. And we're but, gonna make it even longer. But first, we're gonna go check out Powell Point here, which we didn't stop on the way out. I think this might be a good 360 shot so this is maricopa point always just the views everywhere you look in the grand canyon are breathtaking i love all these crooked juniper trees oh adds to the beauty here Here, there's like a little hut there on the trail that goes down. I guess that's maybe a restroom or rest area. You can see the little solar panels on top. There's tons of these informative signboards as you walk on the rim trail. This one explains to you all the microclimates that exist in the Grand Canyon, including Ponderosa Pine Forest, Pena Juniper Wood Forest, Douglas Fir Forest, and of course the Desert Scape. And all these different microclimates can exist because of all the different specialized geography here. Down in the bottom, it's very hot, but there's also the Colorado River. There's also all these little twists and turn and nook areas that different plants can find the perfect area to live. Look how pretty it gets at the sunset. so scary I'm so pretty in the same time all right so this is the bright angel trail this is where it starts I think this is the trail that we've been able to see from across the canyon as we keep walking right. closer it, it's the trail uh, zigzagging down and it goes on top of the that bridge and then mm -hmm. top of Colorado River till it gets to the Grand Canyon village oh no where does it end up starts here at the Grand Canyon Village and you go down down a couple of rest houses that we saw some of them with the solar and then it connects to the river trail and you do cross the river and that's that bridge right there it's a water and foot bridge across the Colorado so if you want to go down it's 4,400 feet 1,360 meters in 7.8 miles to the Colorado River but you can take the mules oh that would be cool to do yeah you, you probably have to arrange that way ahead of right. time. Right, you need the, um, um, how do you say? Like it? a no. ticket and a pass? Mm -hmm. Reservation? Reservation yeah. to go there. Well, we finally got some good film of an elk. He's just, or I think she's just hanging out getting some grass to eat. Well, that's about the end of our night. We finished walking the rim trail. We're walking back to the car right now. Chris is hiding behind me for some reason. I like 
the, the sunset over there. Mm. Can you see the sunset? Yeah, it's beautiful. It beautiful. Look, I'm walking on the train. You're walking on the train tracks, baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like a town up here, but we've never managed to get lodging in the Grand Canyon. We've been here, this is our third trip. Third. And I think twice we've stayed at the Holiday Inn we're staying at this time, and the other time we stayed down in Williams, which actually isn't that bad. It's only about a half hour, I think, to the Grand Canyon from Williams. And there's a lot of other activities to do down in Williams as well. So guys, this is the end of our night. We're driving out of the Grand Canyon now, back to the hotel. We had a fun time walking the rim trail and just taking in all the beauty. And Chris is driving in the middle of the road. We'll see you guys. Good night. Good night. Kisses. Bye. We love you.